Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super delicious, when I tell you it's so good, <laughs> vegetarian stuffed shells. There's no meat in here, but if you want meat, you can add your ground beef, turkey, chicken, whatever you like. So first I'm going to start to saute tons of garlic. This was a whole entire bulb and two cloves, plus two cloves of garlic and half of a yellow bell pepper. You want to saute this down. This is going to be part of the filling. Um, you want to saute it down for about five minutes or so just to get it nice and fragrant. Next, I'm going to add the entire tub of fresh spinach. This is the, mm, I'm not sure how many ounces, but I'm going to look at it and let you guys know. But you know the tub I'm talking about. It's all in the supermarket, <laughs> especially in Kroger, that tub of spinach. And so now this is what it looks like after I sauteed everything down. I did not season it because it makes no sense. And you guys will see in just a minute as to why I did not season it. This is the pasta I'm going to be using. I tried to find the regular shells, you guys. I could not find it. So I saw this and I got it. I said, hey, it couldn't hurt. So I'm going to use these, this one today. All right, so this is the ricotta I'm using today and some Parmesan cheese. Well, no, that's actually Italian blend. You want to season this however you want to. And this is the step that I'm talking about, you guys, as to why I did not season the spinach. I'm putting lots and lots of seasoning in the mixture. So you don't need to overdo it and overpower your dish. So make sure you watch your seasoning. So right here, I'm just adding my egg. Now, the reason why I didn't add the egg in the beginning because I wanted to taste my mixture. So I added the spices, tasted it. It was good for me, and I added my egg. Next, I'm adding a few uh, slices of slices. <laughs> I added some fresh basil, and now I added my spinach mixture down in here. And y'all, the minute the garlic with the peppers, the spinach, the spices, the cheese... The smell is just ridiculous. So you want to put that to the side. And now I'm going to saute down some more peppers. And then I'm going to add the marinara sauce. Now this is the one I'm using. You can use your preferred brand of marinara sauce. But this is the one I'm using today. So after I added my marinara sauce and a little water just to thin it out a bit, I added some salt, some pepper, some granulated garlic, and just to spruce it up a bit. Y'all know we never just use something straight out the bottle, but you can, but I just wanted to give it a little extra razzle dazzle. I then added a big old handful of fresh basil and cut the stove off. You don't want to boil the, break the basil. So, or basil, however you want to say it. <laughs> Add the basil, turn the stove off, that's done. Next, I'm going to put the ricotta mixture in this piping bag. You don't have to do this step. I don't like mess, and this is why I'm doing this this way. Plus, I don't have no piping bags, y'all. So, I had to... <laughs> <laughs> I had to use a Ziploc bag and that's what I did here. So you want to fill your Ziploc bag up just like this or your piping bag. You know, make sure you close it and then I'm going to make a slit and this is how I'm going to fill my shells. All right, so right here, I'm just pouring my marinara sauce right down in the bottom of my pan. I think this is a 13 by 9 pan, but, you know, just use whatever pan you have in your house. If it can't fit, then just make two pans. But I believe this is a 13 by 9. And make sure you preheat your oven to 375 degrees. So this is how I'm doing it. You just cut it off, cut the tip of the piping bag off, and then you just fill up your shell. And see, no mess. No mess, no fuss, no nothing, and you're good to go. I'm going to show it to you guys one more time, and then I'm going to finish them up, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like, nice and lined up in the pan. Now I'm just going to cover it with some more of the Italian blend cheese, as well as a little bit of sauce I had left. You just want to, like, put little droplets here and there. You don't want to completely cover it, 
Some people like it completely covered in marinara, but I like my pasta to show a little bit. <laughs> y'all know I love my presentations, y'all. So, you know. So, next I'm going to use some fresh mozzarella and just put a few dollops here and there, there and there and there. Kroger had a sale on fresh mozzarella, like the real stuff. And it was only $2.99. So, I got it and I used it today. And this is what it looks like, you guys. It's nice and bubbly. It's cooked all the way through. It's golden on top. The cheese is nice and crusty. The smell, the aroma, like I can't. When I tell you I tore up a whole bowl of this stuff, <laughs> I did not miss the meat. The meat was not needed. It was just really good, you know? And uh, yeah, so if the vegetarians out there, because y'all always ask me for vegan and vegetarian recipes, I'm going to try y'all, but um, this is what it looks like. And it was soft. It was cooked all the way through, like I said. All ingredient measurements will be in my description box as well as the cooking times. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. If you make my recipe, take a picture and tag me. And let me know what you think. And I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.